Hello there guys, Wayne here from Luna's World. I hope you're well. Welcome to another Coffee Time review. Today we are reviewing the Zantec Premier Home Smart Projector. Uh, easy for you to say, but a great, great piece of kit here. I've always wanted a projector, but I've, I just don't want to spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds or even thousands of pounds on a projector. Um, and neither do I want to spend, you know, hundred pounds and get something that doesn't really do the job properly. This kind of sits right in the middle. This is, um, it's actually, a, I would call it a budget projector given the price of projectors. Um, but it's, it's got some really cool features that we're going to talk about and check out. So right off the bat, um, in Thailand, this is a, just, uh, just over 10,000 baht. So really good value. It's a 1080p. Uh, resolution projector, uh, but it can handle reading uh, 4K files and it will downsize it. It does a really good job of that as well. Um, the picture quality and the sound quality are excellent. Um, it's a short throw projector, so uh, it will actually um, project a 100 inch screen in a distance of three meters, which is pretty, pretty good. So um, if you've got a, a relatively small space in your apartment or flat or studio or wherever you're using this in your home, or if you want to put it in your bedroom, for example, then uh, you're going to get a really decent screen size with um, not too much required distance from your screen. So really good. It's also Wi-Fi enabled and it runs the Android operating system. You can download uh, all your favorite apps, Netflix, Amazon Prime. You can plug in sticks. You can do all sorts of uh, stuff. Kodi as well, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so a lot of flexibility of actually how to play media. We do have um, an SD card reader here two HDMI's and on the back we also have a good old VGA and two um, USB ports there plus AV and a headphone out and of course we've got the power there as well so a lot of flexibility in terms of the connectivity of this device. The other cool thing about this projector is that we have this uh, really good speaker on the front and I believe on the back too and it supports um, Dolby AC3 surround sound. So it gives you a really nice, rich, cinematic sound. Um, no need to plug in a Bluetooth speaker, which is a plus if you want to save on space and money if you don't want to buy a new, you know, a sound bar or a Bluetooth speaker. So really good. And I was actually really surprised about the quality of the sound that comes out of this. Really, really so good. As well as all the media players and the online uh, streaming services that you can use. This will also support AirPlay, so you can stream from your iOS device straight to this, um, which uh, obviously devoids the need of any cables then. Um, and the same goes for uh, Miracast as well. It also uses Miracast. So really, really good. So for example, if I wanted to stream from my PC to the projector, I can do that without attaching any wires. I did try that. There is a slight delay, um, not noticeable, you know, for video and sound, but it is noticeable if you're trying to play uh, a game, for example. So I would always recommend the HDMI um, for super fast uh, connectivity to your uh, computer devices. Now, one of the main, main reasons for getting this is that I wanted to just try out um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. You guys know I'm a huge Flight Sim fan. Uh, I wanted to see what it was like to throw that image up on uh, a huge screen in front of my uh, home cockpit and see what the immersion is. So we're going to check that out a bit later in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run through some of the features. I'm going to give you some demonstrations of this in operation and uh, give you my final thoughts. But um, another thing to say is that the cooling system on this is really good. The fan is very quiet. It does not impact your uh, cinematic experience at all. Um, so they've done a really good job there. On the top here, we have the focusing ring and this is the, um, the angle of the, the projected um, image there as well. We've got buttons here, but it does come with the uh, remote control, which is far more convenient. And um, yeah, ergonomically, it's really nice. It does have mounting holes on the back here. So if you want to mount it sort of upwards from a ceiling down, sorry, then you can do that. 
Um, and yeah, there's, there's definitely some flexibility here. We also have this twisty thing on here. So if you want to, if you need to angle up the projector on your stand, you can do that very, very easily there. So really cool. They've really thought of everything with this. It's um, a complete unit. So it really is a good home cinema system that is just kind of plug and play. It really just uh, is that simple. So in terms of the spec, like I said, um, it's uh, native 1080p resolution. Um, it does have a one to a 4,000 uh, contrast ratio, which is good. So really nice, deep, dark colors. It also has a 50,000 lamp life um, in here, so you won't be changing the lamp for some time. The projector also supports um, screen sizes from 46 inches up to 300 inches, so absolutely huge, um, depending on the size of the room that you've got. Um, I guess this would also work as an outside cinema as well, um, although not in the rain probably, and not in the daytime. Um, this does perform surprisingly well in the daytime. I've got some shots of that um, showing you a bit later on. But obviously the optimum uh, experience is in a darkened room at night time. Okay, so now's the time. Let's go plug it in, check it out and uh, do a few tests. See what the overall performance is like and uh, yeah, we can make up our mind and I'll give you my verdict at the end. And I'll also show you it working with my flight simulator. Okay, so we're gonna test uh, the screen here just in, it's kind of, uh, it's not blazing sun, it's not like middle of the day, but it's still pretty light out and uh, yeah, I'd still consider this to be daylight. So here is what it looks like in daylight, pretty bright. Get a close up here and also I'll um, give you an indication as to the sound, okay? And bear in mind, this is without any media playing, so of course, uh, you're going to notice it more like this, but anyway, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so I've swapped out the lens now, got a bit closer, and yeah, it really does look sharp close up. Um, you can see pixels, but they are looks like they are kind of square shaped but it's really hard to notice the edges here even close up like this um, from a distance it looks fantastic i guess this is where you see the fact that it's 1080p rather than 4k but you know who's going to be this close to a projector anyway so from here back here it looks absolutely crisp as really really nice great resolution and the brightness is really good. Um, let me just show you how bright it is outside. That's what we're dealing with right now. So by no means, the sun is going down, but it's still really bright out there. Um, and this thing in a darkened room is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, as you can see, um, beautiful colors, really deep blues and uh, good blacks as well on this. But um, yeah, I don't know if you can see the actual screen size there, but we are kind of uh, not utilizing the whole screen there, but it's still pretty large. I would say a guess of about 80 uh, inches, something like that. So, you know, a large flat screen TV. Um, so really impressive. Okay, so let's check out some of the features here. Now, of course, you've got the inputs at the top there. So HDMI 1, HDMI 2, VGA, USB and AV. Then we've got settings. So we've got Wi-Fi there. That's where you set up your internet. We have Bluetooth if you want to connect any sound bars or external speakers. Uh, a reset button, language, wallpaper. These are some of the apps that I've installed. So AirScreen is AirPlay basically. Um, Kodi there. We've got Local MM, which is local media. Uh, Mcast, which is Miracast or Miracast, Netflix, of course, uh, NordVPN, which um, I highly recommend getting, especially if you're in Thailand, so you can watch uh, the English version of Netflix or American version of Netflix, whatever you want to do. Um, access to the Play Store, of course, and the VLC player, and of course, YouTube. Uh, and then we've got Zoom settings here um, where you can adjust the uh, you know, you can flip it if you're mounting it, mounting it from the um, roof 
and all of that stuff, infinity scaling. Um, so yeah, a wide variety of things to check out and uh, tailor to your needs. So all in all, pretty decent. Let's go ahead and play some media. Okay, so I know you're not gonna be able to see the clarity in the same way because we're dealing with ISO and all sorts of other issues here. Um, and I've got the sound turned down. And also they're using a Handycam thing on the screen at the moment, which is not ideal. Let me turn up the sound anyway. Okay, so I've gone to the home screen again of Netflix and I don't know, I'm trying to point out some pixels, but it's really hard to see them even this close. I'm literally centimeters away from the actual screen now. So pretty good, absolutely fine for, um, or more than fine for uh, like a home cinema experience. <sighs> okay, so one of the th reasons why I got the projector was also to check out and see whether I could run the projector on my flight simulator. Now I've got a 32 inch curved monitor here that's kind of, uh, it's a 1080p, it's, it's fine, it works. But as you can see with this setup, I don't know, it would be nice to have a bit more of a, a wider viewing um, area in the front. And yeah, so let's test it out. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I'm not sure if we're gonna be kind of like too close and see the pixels. I don't know what the color is gonna be like. Um, so this is, you know, a random test here, but this is kind of like the ultimate test to see whether a 1080p uh, projector can cut it when you're that close and, and how it performs in a gaming situation. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. So my final verdict is that this is a really good projector for the price, um, 1080p, great quality, um, great sound quality, it's compact, um, it looks good, it's ergonomically nice, uh, the operating system works really well, um, it's great for cinema, if you've got a small place or even a big place it's great for that too. Um, it is lacking 4K, which is a bit of an issue when it comes to using it for the flight sim. It's still pretty cool. It's a pretty good experience. I haven't got the color balance right and also the height of the, um, the screen here. So that needs a bit of adjusting. But it's quite immersive. It's pretty good. Um, I, I can't see myself using it kind of all the time. If I've got some friends around and they want to see the flight sim in action, maybe that's quite a nice way for them to you know, experience it. Um, it's just not quite good enough for me to warrant like ditching the screen and keeping this here or mounting it to the wall kind of in a more permanent position. I think it's probably gonna need a 4K uh, projector in order to do that and get the same sort of definition as you get with a screen. Yeah, all in all, a really fantastic um, projector. This is the first projector that I've reviewed on this channel. You can expect some more coming. Um, but as, as a standalone home entertainment system, you know, that is Wi-Fi capable, um, I think it's fantastic, I really do. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I don't have to say these things. The downside is though, with the flight sim, the resolution isn't quite sharp enough, but um, you know, that's kind of a bit more of a specialist application, I guess. But that's kind of it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed the footage of this uh, projector in action. If you've got any questions, please do let me know. And um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description if you live in Thailand and um, you're in the market for a decent projector. I think this is great value for money and um, I can personally highly recommend it for you if you're looking for a home cinema system without forking out ridiculous money and 
you know, a separate sound solution because the sound of this thing is really, really good. Really impressed. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon. Take care.